rehearsal slow motion swings in your house working on your impact position okay. all right you see that position you're at yeah that's a good setup your is arms my, are straight you want to lock your elbows in front of the ball? all right just listen for a second okay, sorry, sorry. all right so you're doing fine in your setup you want to stack your load bearing joints you want your ankles under your hips Mm -hmm. So you're doing all right there. That looks good. So the width of your stance is good. You want your right foot at a right angle to your target line. You want your left foot at about 20 degrees. Flare at 20 degrees open. Not not open. Just turn it out. Okay. All right. So here's your problem. You got a pretty good backswing. My head's in yeah, that's okay. Now you collapse your arms. So you. So. Oh. So what that means is you really. You don't keep your radius in your swing. You want to make sure you maintain your arc. So your right arm collapses your left arm. So your right arm bends too much and your left arm bends. Now, that's the first problem. The second problem is you start your downswing with your hands. That's why you release early. But don't worry about that. That's a, you're going to do some exercises for that. You're going to do this exercise. Hold the club and just practice turning your hips. Don't move your shoulders. Go ahead. Lock your elbows. Okay, go ahead. Yeah. All right, that's the first stage of your exercise program. The second stage is hold the club and don't move your hands and move your hips. That's a lot harder. Hold the club. Out in front of you over here. Don't move your hands, turn your hips. Turn them on. There you go. Now why can't I do that? I've been doing it a long time. Yeah, you want to do that right there. Now, the reason you want to do that is watch what your hands do. What just what just moved first? My hand. Yeah. All right. Now watch this. Let me show you a pro. Now this is not what you think about on the course. Let's just be clear. There, you're not going to go out there thinking about this. You do practice this stuff, but you don't think about it. Yeah. Okay. If you think about it, you'll shoot higher than 150. <laughs> all right. Now watch this. He's gonna he's gonna get he's gonna get his lower body. I have no idea what the heck is wrong with this computer. Watch his lower body. You notice how his arms are still going back, but look at his hips. He's already starting to come around. Right. All right. So there's an exercise. I'm going to give you a drill. If you do this drill, it'll change your golf game significantly. I learned this the other day from Dr. Robert Neal. He was a biomechanist at... Uh, Jim McLean's golf school. All right, so this is the drill. You're going to hold your arms out nice and straight like that, okay? Your wrists are uncocked and your arms are fully extended. The shaft is parallel to the ground. From there, I'm going to, I'm going to show you what I want you to do. Watch my hands. Watch what happens here. You're going to move the handle or the butt of the club toward the target and make a swing. That's assuming I can get this thing to move. That's what I want you to practice. Now, that's a throwing motion. Look, when you throw a ball, what you do is you go like this. Right. So that's the motion you want to learn how to do. Once you learn that motion, you'll be able to hit the ball with a lot of power. So you're going to practice this movement right here. You see what I just did? Started here. I moved the handle of the club. But you don't have to think about any of this stuff. Just think of moving the end of the club toward the target. All right. So that's an exercise you're going to practice. That exercise right there. Mm -hmm. You start there and you hit some shots. All right. Now watch what you do at impact. Here's the problem. The reason you have trouble is because you don't look like you're supposed to look at impact. Right. My legs look terrible. They're in a kind of weird position. All right, look at my impact position. You see how the club shaft is in alignment with my lead arm? Yeah. It's a straight left arm. My hips have rotated, my weight's on my forward leg. All right, let's look at what you do. All right, what, do you, what does that look like to you? That looks like I'm pronating on my forward foot, but I'm also, I'm still, I've still got too much going on. I've got too much weight on my right leg. So your your shoulders are rotated more than your hips. 
and in golf your hips should be rotated more than your shoulders. So you, you basically are hitting the ball with your upper body. You're starting your downswing from the top. You're casting the club, you're ro unloading the shaft early because your sequence is off. But forget about all that. Just practice your impact position. Go home and get in a mirror and practice that position right there. You see where I am? Yes. Just go home in the mirror and practice that position. That's not quite right. Yeah. There you go. Now, that's what I want you to practice. Okay? Yeah. Yep, and then with a drill, you start here and you... Now, here's a good exercise. I gotta go after this. Take a ball, start right here, and throw it into the ground. Guarantee you, you'll do everything I thought it will be in perfect position. Really? Yep. Right. Do you... Yep. And 